everyone, welcome back. So I sat down today at my computer and was like, alright, I gotta edit this video, and then I realized I have not shot anything. <laughs> yeah, it's been a bit of a crazy week, so I realized I have not actually filmed anything. So that's what I'm doing today, obviously, but my brain is a little fried and I have not prepared anything. Um, so I thought I would do a stream of consciousness video where I basically just talk and we'll see what progresses from this situation. <laughs> this should be interesting. Hey, we don't eat that. Hi! We aren't putting a Christmas tree up this year because we have two kittens. <laughs> that should be enough explanation. Um, we didn't have, we had the tiny, the tiny, tiny little one that I confiscated and put in all my videos last year. Um, but other than that, we haven't really had a big tree in a while. We have a fake one somewhere in our basement. Maybe I should forego the no tree rule and just do that. I don't know. We'll see. I'm not really feeling the Christmassy spirit yet because I don't, it's because we don't have a tree. Like we always have like some sort of tree, but we don't have a tree this year. Because <sighs> Belle eats everything. Stop it. If this side suddenly goes dark, it is because she has chewed through the wire. Oh, she's shaking the camera because she's on the bed. Stop it. This is not edible either. <laughs> oh my God. Shoo, shoo, shoo. You are nuts. You're nuts. Oh, purr, purr, purr. She knows when she's in trouble too because she turns up the purr. Yep. Go that way. You can play with Boo. Oh my god, where'd she go? You're back. Oh god. I give up. What are your guys' Christmas plans? You should leave a comment below. Tell me about your festivities because I don't have festivities this year. Although I am going to a Christmas party tonight for The Office, which should be fun. Not The Office, the TV show, the office I work at, the shelter I work at. I've had these things for like years and I realize I've never named them. I feel like we should name them. I'm currently drinking apple cider. I drink my cider cold, usually. Is that, does that make me weird? Oh, you are now there. Kittens. I have like the weirdest taste because I've got the apple cider and then I've got pineapple chapstick on. So it's literally pineapple, pi pineapple apple. Ooh, that's good. If you have never had pineapple chapstick, you should try some. It is amazing. They have, we got like a whole bunch of free ones at our conference in October. Oh my god, I actually have like bags of this because I was so in love with it that all the rest were just given to me. Hang on. I'm not joking. I'm set for life with pineapple chapstick. If you would like some, I have plenty. <laughs> this can be what I hand out for Christmas. Oh, friends and family, you're getting chapstick for Christmas. It has been decided. That did not sound pleasant. I had the weirdest dream last night and I can't even remember any of it other than Belle chewed up my glasses and I had to go to the eye doctor and get more. But somehow it ended with me ruling over all cat kind. It was kind of awesome. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with my life. Oh, it's in my hair. Don't you just love it when you've just washed your hair and then you spill something sticky on it? Ooh, I have a story to tell. Okay, here we go. Get ready for this. This could save your life. I'm not even joking. So, Tuesday morning at 1.30 a.m., we got like, we heard this loud beep, like alarm, smoke alarm beep, and then it, like this robotic voice going, Carbon, warning, carbon monoxide. It was like, what? 
And we'd had like a scare before where our alarm did that and turns out it was just a faulty alarm. Like it had run out of the amount of time you're supposed to have them I guess and it was just really old. Um, and so we changed out the batteries in our in our one right now. And it was quiet for like a minute and then it did the beep and the carbon monoxide warning again. And so we had to call 911 and they were like, it's really cold out and we don't want you to freeze. So if you feel comfortable, you can stay inside. And it's like, dude, if there's carbon monoxide le leaking in your house, you should not stay inside, whatever the temperature might be. So we get the kitties into the carrier and me, Boo, and Belle are sitting in my car while well, mom has decided that she needs to tidy up for the firemen that are coming <laughs> to make a pathway because apparently we're messy although looking at my room right now it is a disaster because I was trying to find something <laughs> but like our hallways are not messy at all but she's cleaning I think it went a little to her head as it probably did with everybody else so five minutes pass she realizes she should probably go outside the firemen get here she comes over and explains what's going on with them to them and then they go inside they immediately come back out with like gas masks and they're like so there's definitely a leak um <laughs> and you're at 200 parts per million at 35 parts per million you're supposed to wear a gas mask because it is lethal so 200 not good at all <laughs> like we'd probably be dead within another hour is what they were thinking like if we were inhaling that anymore we would be dead and the kitties are so tiny so of course we're like oh god they've lost so many brain cells it was just crazy hang on I gotta blow my nose let me play the, play you the song of my people <laughs> but so we're just kind of standing there like what the actual f is happening and our neighbor comes out of his garage and we're like oh crap we've woken him up with the um, fire truck lights and so I go over to him and I was explaining what was happening and I was like so sorry we probably woke you up with the lights and he's like oh no we were actually I was actually woken up because our carbon monoxide thing went off and we're like oh my god what the hell is going on? Our neighbors were at 90 parts per million. Not good, very lethal. And everybody else's houses were clear. So it was either our house or their house, but it turned out to be our house, which was then leaking into their house through the vents because we're all in townhomes and so they're technically all connected. So we almost died and we almost took our neighbors with us. Yeah. <laughs> and then I had to get che checked out by the paramedics because you should in that situation. And I was about 85 to 90% oxygen, so I'd lost 5 to or 10 to 15% of oxygen. Math people, I can't do it. <laughs> but at least the paramedic was very cute. So, that was a plus. I can't even remember his name, that's so sad. And of course they had to turn off our boiler because that was the cause of it. So we were without heat for a day and a half. Luckily we got the inspector out that day and then he told us we needed a new one so we were like okay well let's get a new one and they had space for us the next day to install it. So it took them eight hours to install our new boiler, but like for the first 24 hours we were just frozen and we had these tiny little space heaters. We actually drove at about 3.30 a.m. to mom's office to steal uh, one of her coworkers' space heaters because we only had one and we had to use it to make sure the pipes didn't freeze. So we stole hers from the office and brought it home and we're using that and then we had to buy two more. And now I think all the carbon monoxide that has been in my body is now coming out my sinuses. <laughs> and it makes your throat scratchy and sore too, so that's super fun. Nothing like getting over the flu to feel like you're having 
flu symptoms again. Thank you, carbon monoxide. <laughs> what was my point? Oh, here's my point. If you don't have a carbon monoxide reader in your house, you should get one because it can literally save your life. It definitely saved ours. Um, yeah, it was crazy. We did not get much sleep this week. And the kitties, poor kitties. I'm pretty sure they lost a bunch of brain cells, but they are resilient and they're back to their crazy selves. So we're okay. <laughs> How's your guys been week been? Words. Use them, cat. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. I don't think I have any festive dresses to wear to a Christmas party. Do I need to buy one? Oh, I know what I can wear. I have kind of a green and black stripey dress that I can wear with some black leggings or something. That might be okay. Or red leggings. And we'd have green and red. Problem solver right here. Got it. <sighs> what else should I talk about? So apparently Trump's going to be our president. There are no words for that. Kind of hoping the Electoral College will just man up and admit they were wrong and appoint Hillary. <laughs> That's the only possible way this could change. I don't know. If you could only see my room, like I've pushed everything that was on this all the way over there. I think you can kind of see a little bit. Point is, I shoved everything over that way that was on here. So there's just a file and then it pretty much looks like a tornado hit. Yeah. Also look how cute my Christmas mug is. It's a little sand snowman. Santa man? Snowman. <laughs> I almost said Santa man. It's very cute though. I don't know what happened to our other Christmas mugs. We used to have more. I'm on a mission to find them later. I don't know what else to talk about right now. I feel like so much pressure all of a sudden. So I think I've talked about at least something interesting. Near death is always fun to talk about. <laughs> um, but yeah, I am going to end this here. Woo! I hope you enjoyed watching this. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And please subscribe if you haven't already. You can do that by clicking the subscribe button that will probably appear. I don't know what I want to do with the stupid subscribe thing because they've made it so complicated. But yeah, click the subscribe button. That'll probably have my face on it. And to see my previous video, click that little link. And I will see you guys next time. Bye! I'm going to play you another tune. Ready? <laughs> Jingle Bell? <laughs>